We're back with the second game of the day. It's the Blackguards. It's the Lancers. We got a division rival. Uh, division out west. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bad I was going to say, these, what's, what's these two teams seem like they're going to hate each other. You know, the Lancers and the yeah. Blackguards, two teams coming from the bottom, except, you know, Lancers are still on their way down and the Blackguards are coming back up hot. Yeah, they had a, a very, very impressive offseason. Um, not so much draft-wise that they chose to use a lot of their picks to bring in a lot of a lot of players starting to enter their prime or um, already in it now, and it could pay off. But it also could hurt mm -hmm. them in the future as they don't have a lot of work to work with with draft picks, so they will have to be mostly through free agency. You know, you know why I think you know people absolutely love coming to the Blackguards? great uniforms or is it the Bacardi shots after every touchdown scored it is Bermuda it's a tax haven no no income tax <laughs> you yeah. can you can hold as many assets as you want and it's a beautiful beautiful place beaches you know the ocean it oh, has yeah. everything you want I'm currently working on trying to get season tickets down here to Bermuda I love coming down here put my my toes in the sand I love coming to Bacardi field Man, they got all kinds of great traditions they're starting as an amazing atmosphere. And speaking of that, we have to hurry and get to the field because I can't stay up in here in this booth any longer. <laughs> it's warm. And we need to crack open a window. <laughs> let's let's get in on into this one. They're getting the coin toss started here. And man, this is gonna be a good one. It's the the Blaggers and the Lancers. Hopefully. There's not too many touchdowns. These uh, fans still need to drive home safely. But <laughs> if you're an Uber driver, you are probably making a lot of money tonight. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, it's still an island, so it's, nothing's too far. But... Yeah, maybe it's by boat. <laughs> Ooh. Blaggard's great on that, uh, that kick return stop. I was going to say, that last game that we saw was not as great on special teams, at least defensively. You know... And the run! Wow. Avery Montroy picks up a tough, tough four yards. Montroy wearing the same number as Unknown Safari, if I remember correctly. Wow, I think so. Uh, must be a mentor from his few games that he... Uh, mm. uh, that Avery Avery's cousin had with the Hounds. Yeah, big stop by the McBot. Uh man, this has been it was just uh, so far we've seen now two new stadiums here in the CWSFL, and they've both been beautiful. But man, Ooh. this this Bermuda, this Bacardi Field is just a great looking stadium. It is tropical, and they bring out BP as usual to uh <laughs> to do the best work on the field. Oh, man, the Lancers, you know, like they always say, if you're going to be a bad team, you at least got to have a good kicker. And let me tell you, they got a good punter, <laughs> and they drafted a rookie kicker that will be kicking the, uh, the field goals and extra points for them. So, Which is just incredible. Well, they're Ooh. lacking they're lacking in, in, in positions on offense and defense, but let me, let me just say, their special teams unit is on point. Whoever is a coach of that special teams group is probably going to get a head coaching job soon. All right. Ooh, a shovel pass. I was going to say, we don't see many of those here. Maybe for good reason. Wow. Okay, dropping back to pass. Has some options open. <gasps> Can he go all the way? Can he Dante go all the way? Green. Came over in free agency. <laughs> Uh, from the Pandas, who wanted to, uh, to step out into a bigger role after winning a gold bowl, and it looks like he just did that. Sammy Ruggs! Wow. Six yards into the end zone. Blackguards are on the board quick. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't know if it was actually worth it tanking for the first overall pick for the Lancers. And then trading, trading so many resources to go very high in that draft, too. They traded a lot to be able to draft one, two, and what was that other one? Like five? So, yeah, something like that. And then they didn't pick again until what, round four? 
maybe three, yeah, and then I think they switch traded. Yeah, yeah, they did a lot to. I mean, you gotta you gotta admit they did get the guys that they wanted. They went out, they traded for yeah. them, they got their guys. Problem is, let's see how well it pans out. Because right yeah. now the season ten draft is mace, uh, mostly controlled by the Pumas and Pegasi. I was gonna say I'm also pretty concerned because BP did say if they're not good by season ten, he plans on resigning. And Mike McIver wow. with a two yard loss. T F L. What are the odds he follows through? Probably slim to none. Okay, dropping back to pass. There's a couple of options there. Makes it to the McBot for 10 yards. Let's just say that's not a bet I would make. Yeah. And they're back to punt on fourth and two. Best punter in the league, though. You can't deny it. That's because... It probably gets the most punting opportunities in the league. So, you know, sometimes to be the best, <laughs> yeah. you got to have the most opportunities. And BP definitely does. Oh. And he takes advantage of those. It's and Sammy runs down the sideline, chase down from behind him. Bloorg missed the tackle. Nothing to stop him. Sammy, Sammy fucking Ruggs. Let me tell you, Sammy Ruggs tried to tell everybody at the start of the season, running back of the year was his to lose. And so far, he is standing on ten toes. I was going to say, I... Ooh, and <laughs> a two-point conversion. I was going to say, I have seen sky. so much of Melly Brez Jr. and Sammy Ruggs. Honestly, the the likeness is uncanny. I was going to say, between between how he trolls, you know, kind of trolls in the server to, you know, uh, how he operates and thinks about the game and being a, you know, GM, it's, it's actually interesting and refreshing to see for this blackguard team and stop matthew woodson wow one yard tackle for loss okay can they make something uh -oh. work here they do it's 14 to zero it's almost over with the first quarter uh, that was kind of, I guess, the first quarter we were all expecting. And they passed it to the big bot for a four-yard loss. Oh! Well, not sure here's a fun what fact. they were doing there. Here's a fun fact for you, Serox. Yeah? The Lancers don't have a single receiver assigned to the team. They're all walk-ons. They're all people that, that you just find on the street each game. Now... Um, if this was last season, I wouldn't be too worried because they would have the great X's and O's coach Edward Bamoa on their staff, and I would have no worries. You know, they would dial something up in the scheme. Now, <gasps> different. Dante Green! Dante Green! Touchdown 66 yards! Dante Green, welcome to wide receiver number one. He was just waiting. He was waiting for a breakout season. This is it. All I'm saying is, sometimes, sometimes, um, another man's trash is another man's treasure. Even though there ain't any trash that's involved there. That'd be like, you know, <laughs> you getting a quarter and then. Or is this a joke about me, me having been. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to start making jokes about me being poorer than you. Oh, no, no. <gasps> and a breakaway run for Avery. It'd be like Avery Montroy running for 27 yards down the sideline to get the Lance to the first down, which is honestly something we haven't got to really see a whole lot yet. So it's good. It's good. Uh-oh. And a QB. Neat. Yeah, little Terry got wheels. He was running all over the place in the preseason. Uh, Should have done this a lot sooner. 18 yards for little Terry. Yeah, I was going to say that the QB run is unironically working way better than anything else for them. So that's, as well, right? Yeah, that's something they need to need to keep in. the Ooh, oh, showing flashes right there. Avery Montroy, keep doing your thing. Ready, 
Let's see what we got. Uh oh, back to him. Little Terry. Wow, Matthew Woodson. Uh oh, ooh. And David De La Cruz, two yard loss. Uh oh, are you gonna bring out the rookie? Is it good? Ooh, oh, I, th oh, I thought dude. that was. <laughs> Ooh, first field goal and attempt in the young fella's career, and it's up and good for 38 yarder. Nearly missed. Okay, Berez, though. Okay, Berez started his career with the. Uh, with the Pegasi traded this offseason and a few different blockbuster trades to the laggard. Second and inches, inches now. Should we see a tush push? Give it right behind yeah. Rangus McDangus. I don't trust their center for that. I'm going to be honest. Shit. Man. Dante Green. Green. Dante Green. You know, I think I see somebody up there sitting in the nosebleeds of this one with the Dante Green pandas. <gasps> oh. What a pass. DJ Turner. 37 yards to the to the guy they call the next Justin Jefferson in the league. All right. Can they make something out of nothing? No, they can't. Should have been intercepted right there. I was gonna say it's not they're the black the blackguards, for as good as they are, their their QB situation is not quite towards a free Smith or J Money level. That is an MVP QB right there. It's true. It's just you know I don't I don't think. How like often though do you see the MVP like get traded in uh, the off season after he won Ooh. it though? Did Bermuda just do a screen? They sure did, and it's going to be a fourth and 14. They're going to have to settle for a field goal. Do they have a bot kicker? Sure do, and that's why that one was also a little risky. 33-yarder. Each of these looks like it's going to go wide right. Oh, I didn't think either one of them were good, but we're going to say it was. <laughs> so that's what the ref said. We're going to take his word. I got you, Mr. Yeah, just, ref. Just don't smell their drinks, all right? <laughs> Uh, I'm a little Isn't upset it? though that they're getting these field goals so far you know <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy hey. these uh, Bart Bacardi field touchdown traditions Dallas Dixon <gasps> bobbing and weaving Ooh. might have been the slowest juke I've seen so far but it worked alright so they're actually drinking the Kool-Aid yet <laughs> no not yet not yet I'm waiting for this touchdown the Lancers are about to get I still think that the uh, the blackguards can at a at a minimum finish second in the division. So then, who finishes first? Thumbo! For me, I'm still <gasps> Dallas Dixon picks that up, though. <sighs> the savior of Vancouver. Let's be real. No, I was gonna say Dallas. I, he's the savior of Vancouver. <laughs> In my professional opinion. Oh, shoot. All right. I was going to say, I... In my professional opinion, I think it's the Stags. I, I've been high on Yandi for a while. I think he's a great GM. They have a good roster. I think he's... Between, like, with him and Moses, those two... There's no better game planning in the league. 
Interesting take. We'll have to see how that pans yeah. out because right now we got the battle of the running backs. Avery Montoy versus Sammy Ruggs, but Sammy Ruggs currently has his team out to the lead. Sammy Ruggs has efficiency, and that's what's mattering in this game. Yep. Okay. Sammy Ruggs with that silver visor staring down Avery. Not even blinking. And if he did, we didn't know. 24 <laughs> to 3. Blackguards, they got it. They got it right now. And it's all been here in this early West Division matchup. These two teams, man, they are not fans. But right now, yeah. Bermuda's got uh, got the upper hand. Would the Lancers be able to, to come back strong in this third quarter? This has been, at least so far, an absolute victory for the expansion teams to come in and to kick some, you know, old, old dynasty teams while they're down. There is no better feeling for them, I bet. At home, at home. They're having the time of their life right now. These fans are enjoying it, and they're just glad to have a little bit of football now in their area. Wow. <laughs> Look Man. at them, sold out crowd on top of their feet, having the time of their lives, screaming and shouting. And what oh, an angle. this is interesting. What an angle. Yeah, this is interesting. I need more of that. That was interesting. I like that. Yeah, I need more of that. that I have not seen that one before. Is that a glitch or is that something new? Because I really like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've never seen that one before, but I need more of it. Wow. You know what, if you could even like take that and zoom out maybe like two notches when we're uh, when when the defense is there sometimes, I would I'd be all right with that. <laughs> yeah, actually I'm going to uh here, you carry the you carry the narration for just a little bit. I'm gonna reach out to you know the man above us, aka Low Polly. Sammy Ruggs off to the races again. Oh, it's a Lord squared miss from behind. But it doesn't matter. Oh. Eventually, a Lancer uh, brings him down after a gain of 43 yards. Got the uh, blaggard um, at the 28-yard line now. And they're just going to give it to him on the other Sammy side. <gasps> wow. Tackled down by <laughs> Big Mike. After a gain of 14 and a first down, and they're at the 14, and Sammy Ruggs is looking to continue to carry the torch. I thought I thought he had it that last drive, or not last drive, that last play. Wow, what happened? No, I, I thought he was going to get out, but no, oh. number 89 came up and got, got yeah, him from yeah. behind. Yeah. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling into the end zone as Sammy runs for a 13-yard touchdown to give him a hat trick. Aaron, this one, three quarters through the way, three touchdowns. And they can't get the two, but it doesn't matter. They have a 27-point lead, and as everybody knows, drink up. What a Ooh. hit. What a hit. Wow. Avery slow to get up on that one, but still finds a way to stay on the field. Montrose carry through. Little Terry is throwing like he was the one that got hit. <laughs> Come on now, little Terry. You're three for six, 47 yards. There you go. Wow, the McBot picks up a 25-yard catch. And the Lancers score, other than, you know. Ready, 
That's stuff. We got a minute 44 left to go here in the third quarter. It's 30 to 3. Second and three. Avery Montroy on the outside, and he breaks past oh. a couple of defenders, and the Lancers oh. are in the end zone for a 15 yard run. Let's go, Ma Avery. Avery Montroy on his first touchdown of his career, and the first one of the season now for the Lancers. They go for two, and Big Boy comes up for the stop. Now, here's my question. Why are the Lancers confident enough in their own team to be going for two points? I guess probably the same reason their owner was confident uh, confident enough to say if the Lancers weren't good by season 10, he'd resign. Clearly, there's not a lot going on in, uh, over there in that front office. But Dante Green has just burnt another Lancers defender on the same route for the same time tonight. It's just incredible what this team has been able to do just in one season. You know, that front office... Uh, they finally got a good ownership. They they put the pieces together and the right people in places. And look what happened. Sammy Ruggs. Sammy Ruggs. 16 for 169. Four touchdowns now. Wow. Sammy Ruggs looking like an early candidate for running back of the year. So far, he doesn't have much competition as uh, the last game didn't have a single run. Ooh, that was a short one. <laughs> and it's another outside run that gets blown up. You know, if the Lancers are going to commit to this so hard, they really need to start, you know, bringing in some wide receivers, you know, start building up their strength, getting them to the weight room, you know, and teach them how to block. Yeah, I actually started developing the players. We're down to the final final quarter, thirty-seven to nine. What are the Lancers gonna do? Uh oh, Avery Montroy. Avery Montroy just needs to be faster. So, you think the uh, the Lancers have another one, number one overall pick? Um, they might have a few more number one overall picks. Dallas Dixon, loving yard catch. Yeah, I was gonna say there is like. <laughs> Matthew Woodson, have yourself a day. He <laughs> plays for 35 yards.
in a QB run, they really should be doing more of these. They're super effective. They took out the ref on the way, and he didn't <laughs> even get a touchdown. Throw the flag. Deserved. Deserved. Now the ref deserved. Who said are you on? Yeah. You know, see, not the ref. When was the last time you saw that ref throw a flag? Intercepted in the end zone. <gasps> Big boy. <gasps> Picked off little Terry. Bermuda's gonna score again, aren't they? They're not even gonna run out the clock. They're just gonna be like, mm. yeah, peace. Yeah, this is a, ooh. <laughs> it's Sammy Rose. Rose. No one around. Oh god! Yeah. He said, "Score again." Say no more. And the Lancers called timeout. They want them to score again. You know that? You know that one SpongeBob episode where they get superpowers and SpongeBob gets super speed and he's just like, "You want to see me, me do it, it again?" again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to see me do it again? <laughs> Sammy Rugs, that's him right now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's a chance. There is a chance that Bermuda is able to actually. He's that's in. A, that's a ah, that's that's, it. that's a six. Boo, boo! Throw the empty Bacardi bottles. That was a bad call. Bad call. Look at that. Look at that. He called hike, and it was a touchdown. Can't, can't keep Sammy out. They gave that to Sammy, but as soon as they said hike, the center scored. Give it to zero. Look All at the right, cameraman down there. Glad to see our um, our team here for AWSN um, getting the love everywhere. It's our guy, you know, I, our guy Roger down there. I would never have expected it to be this much of a blow. Well, Maybe 20 points. This is not 20 points. This is well, like, what, 35? Well, the Lancer's best offensive play is the QB Ooh. sneak to the, to the, our QB run on the outside to Little Terry. I don't know if there is, uh, there's much else that can be said. Honestly, they should just do a game plan where it's just entirely key. QB sneaks. I think I think the Lancers might actually win a couple of games that way. It should. They should, because so far it yeah. looks, looks unstoppable. Yeah, stop the screen nonsense. You know, get stop Avery's all this other nonsense. Up. Just just look at Terry all day. Yeesh. Running out the clock. Oh. This season does not look good for the Lancers. Oof. And it's over. All right. Thank you, McBot, for the final catch. It's stat padding. And would you look at that, the Bermuda Blackguard. Somehow, some way, after a hard-fought victory, find a way to pull out of win, forty-four to to six, nine, nine over the Vancouver Lancers. Yeah. Same yeah, it was. Go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say it's it's hard having a chip on your shoulder when you go to Bermuda. Right, like I mean, the atmosphere, entire, the game gets better yeah. and better as it only goes on. I was gonna say, like, you know, the Lancers, their entire identity right now is just being a bunch of uh, people who, you know, have a chip on their shoulder, who are coming in, are you know, raised up the league on fire like a Baker Mayfield, and then they just come to Bermuda, you know, get handed a Bacardi, sit down on the beach before the game. You know, it's, it's hard to be upset. 
like, yeah, we lost by nine points. All right, let's go party at the hotel. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's why I got my season tickets on the way. Um, Sammy Ruggs <laughs> team is going to have an incredible time partying and celebrating this win up in the locker room. You know what they say, when you win, you dance. Sammy Ruggs, though, player of the game, six, or 18 rushes, 246 yards, five touchdowns, Bermuda, who ran themselves into a dominant performance, 44-9. We haven't seen anything like this, maybe ever in the history of the Blackguards. Honestly, not this could have been their highest scoring game in franchise history. One of their few wins, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, first win in a long time, too, in like 15 weeks. <laughs> uh, little yeah. Terry, though, 13 for 20, 187 and an interception. Uh, Dallas Dixon, 2 for 40. Avery Montroy, 14 for 95 and a rushing touchdown. Defense, though, Big Mike had three tackles. Uh, Belorg squared had a tackle. Um, not a whole lot happened on this defense as they chose to give up a lot of points today to Sammy Ruggs. A lot of punting, though, from Greg Johnson. He looked good out there doing that. Uh, the rookie, Carrot, had him a nice 38-yarder. Bermuda Omar, the reigning MVP, 7 for 8, 221, and a touchdown. Dante Green, eight, 5 for 186, and a touchdown. DJ Turner, 1 for 37. K. Perez, nothing in the receiving game. Sammy Ruggs, look at that. Player of the game, we know what he did. Defense, wow. Matt Woodson, 4 uh, tackles, 3 of them for a loss, and 2 a sack. Mike McGuire had 2 tackles for loss. Um... Raquan had five tackles. Um, interception by Big Boy. <laughs> yeah, this is this was certainly a well, we'll call it a game because one time, uh, you know, one team may have been serious, but the other one was not. <laughs> and that's why we had a forty-four to nine uh, score with the Lancers falling zero and one to Bermuda going one and zero now on the season. Positive record for first time in a long time. Um, we got trust in the process and no only way is up. Blaggart uh, looking good out there here in Week One against the Lancers, but man, we've had a great two games already today. Week One's been a lot of fun. We still got three more great ones to go. We got the prime time around the world sports network game of the week coming up next. It's part three, game three of the battle of the bears. Pandits take on the polar bears in Minnesota. That one should be a good one. Should be a lot of fun. Winner gets to, to take home the bear cup for the regular season end season matchup. We cannot wait to get y'all over to that one. It's coming up though here soon. And we're gonna see y'all over there. <laughs> 